my ultimate roasted wild Alaskan salmon. Start to hook this thing up. All right, we got two sticks of butter. I know what you're saying to yourself, God, this is a healthy show. Man's got two sticks of butter. What are you doing with that? All right, this goes a long way. All right, and what I'm doing is basically making enough, all right, for about a week. And you don't have to use all of it if you want to. All right, two sticks of butter, and we got a whole bunch of basil. Okay. I'll take all of this, I'm gonna rip off the stems and just use the leaves. All right, to go right on top, just like that. And I put the lid on. Uh, and the puree the whole thing up. All right, cool. Once you get a really beautiful color out of the basil butter, what I'm gonna do is just hit it with a little bit of salt, boom, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Give it one more little spin ski here and we are good to go, boom, on top. All right, boom, basil butter. Again, this goes great with everything. I can put it on a little bit of like warm focaccia as it comes out of the oven. A little fresh basil butter, absolutely delicious. All right, so we got that, it's cool. Not fantastic. All right, so we're gonna roast this whole thing as one big piece. It's good, it's gonna be absolutely beautiful when it comes out. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be really careful of this, right? You know, when you're holding salmon, it's really delicate. You could break it very easily, so you don't wanna manhandle it too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some salt on my cutting board here. I'm gonna season the fish by just kinda laying it on the salt and pepper, okay? So I've got salt. We got pepper on the board here. All right, I'm just gonna take my fish, try to handle it as little as possible. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lay it right into the salt and pepper. Can okay, I see that? You with me so far? All right, boom, just like that. And then the salmon, because it's a little moist, it's gonna pick up all the salt. All right, boom. And then just lay it back down. Try to keep your hands off of it as much as possible and you're good to go. All right, boom. All right, cool, quick little wash up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, cut some slats into the salmon. Now take a look at this, okay? I got a really sharp knife, all right? And we're gonna go into the fish. And we're gonna make some little slits. All right, I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. A, it's gonna give me a little marker where to carve the fish once it's cooked, okay? And B, it gives me a little cubby hole to stick some basil butter. And how bad can that be? Am I right? So we got the basil butter and nice slats here. Okay. We take a spatula, take some of our basil butter. And we're just gonna open this up a little bit and just make sure we get a nice smear into these little slits first and foremost. Because when it starts to melt, all that delicious herb basil butter is gonna fold right into the fish. And then we're gonna go back through and make sure we get one smooth layer across the whole thing, okay? And then we're gonna let the fish just kinda of rest on the countertop so it's room temp, a little more salt and pepper on top of this, and we are good to go. Boom. Roasted salmon slash and stuff, huh? Really beautiful, fresh, delicious cooking, and everyone's gonna flip out. All right, so we got that. That's cool. We are ready to go. We're gonna make a beautiful breadcrumb. We're making herb and garlic breadcrumb to go on top of the salmon. First, I'm gonna take a big loaf of dale bread. I'm gonna cut it in half. I don't need the whole thing. So I've got a nice, big, long, serrated knife. I'm gonna take the crust off. All right, so I'm gonna cut some slices down. Crumble it up inside of our food processor. All right, cool. Now, once it's pulverized, check this out. All right, it's pretty coarse. All right, I'm not done with it yet. We're gonna add a nice big handful of fresh basil, one clove of garlic, whack it open. Also hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And there's a little touch of salt. All right, a little bit of pepper. Grind it up, that's gonna be great on top of the fish. All right, so we got this. Our machine goes away. Then we're gonna take our fish, our belly of salmon. It's brushed with basil butter right on top. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? All right, then we're gonna take our breadcrumbs, our basil and garlic breadcrumbs, and we're just gonna scatter them right on top in one nice smooth layer. And this is gonna do a couple of things, right? So the butter's gonna start to melt. It's gonna melt into the fish through the slats because we slashed and stuffed it. And then the bread is gonna get nice and crispy on top, and this is gonna be off the chart. Now we got the oven preheated 500 degrees. I'm telling you, this is a fantastic dish. Oven roasted, wild Alaskan salmon, ratatouille, garlic breadcrumbs, slash and stuffed basil butter, 500 degrees, 15 minutes.
boom, life is good. All right. Now, we're, let's take a look at this for a second. It's in the oven. It's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. So take a look at this. All right, it's absolutely gorgeous. We're going to put it under the broiler and just kind of finish crisping up all this really gorgeous crust around top. So I'm taking it from the middle shelf, put it on the top shelf. I'm going to crank it up to broil. Here we go. Da 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 da. Roasted wild Alaskan salmon, slashed and stuffed. It's beautiful, it goes from the oven straight to the table. And then what we're gonna do is just take anything really, a nice big spoon. Now we put some score marks in this earlier. So as soon as you find a nice little place, it should just fall right apart. Okay, we've got a nice big plate here. And we're just gonna go in. Yep, found the mark. Nice and crunchy right on top from the skin and from the breadcrumbs. We're gonna get some of that gorgeous ratatouille. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Well, that's what I'm talking about, fresh, healthy, delicious cooking. You can do it right in your very own house. Everyone's gonna love it. It's a really good alternative. All right, if you're gonna cook some healthy food, might as well be the ultimate gang. Check out this recipe, it's really delicious. It's also really, really easy to make. A Little bit of basil on top, a fresh little squeeze of lemon, and I am good to go. And I'll see you guys next time. You gotta try this salmon.